What's going on guys? This is Everything Elliot. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm Elliot and today we're going to be using my Kubota L4701 with a pulverizer. And what a pulverizer is, is uh, commonly referred to as a poor man's Harley rake. Uh, what it does is it's this giant I-beam here and it's got spikes on the front of the I-beam, the back of the I-beam, and then two rollers on it. This is supposed to level ground uh, pretty well. And over here, I laid out a bunch of dirt. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know over here, I used to have a big pile of dirt and there's a huge rock there. Uh, as you can see, it's almost bigger than my ATV. But anywho, that's from digging all this out and stuff, making it all level. And I still have a lot of work to do over here with the box blade, as you can see sitting there. But I want to get this part taken care of. That way I can get some grass seed down and then I'll start working on this part. I've never used one of these before and the gentleman that I borrowed it from told me that the dirt needs to be nice and dry for it to work well. So it is dry. Uh, I leveled this already with a box blade as best I can. It's not too bad, but we'll see if the pulverizer does any different. Uh, there might be some minor adjustments I have to make. I I don't know. I've never used one before, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna give it a try. Well, the first pass didn't do much of anything at all. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see with the shade from the tree, but what it's really good at doing is finding rocks. So what I think I'm gonna have to do and what you're probably supposed to do with this thing is cross hatch it. So I've gone this way now, and what I'll do is, I'm gonna pick some of these rocks up so they're out of the way. I'm sure I'll end up just filling my bucket because there's so many rocks on this property, but. I'll pick the rocks up and then what I'm going to start doing is going this way with it. Cross hatch it and hopefully every time we do it, it just gets us a little bit closer and closer. Um, since it is not a Harley rake, it might not be perfect, but it's certainly going to be better than what it was. So I'm going to pick up as many rocks as I can find and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right, I've got quite a few rocks in the bucket. Uh, so what I'm going to start doing now is just start going down this way and cross hatching it and see what kind of difference that makes.
I know it might be tough to tell on camera, but that second pass really made a big difference. It seems that now that there's uh, dry crumbly dirt that's able to build up in front of it, it seems that it's really starting to level it out. So we'll give you a uh, we'll give you a look of what the second pass looks like. Still, obviously, super rocky, but it is really starting to level out. So what I think I'll do now is I'm going to do another pass the way the tractor's facing, coming from here, going down. That'll be the third pass, and then a fourth pass, what I'll do is I'm going to do diagonal across it, and that'll cut all the humps out. And hopefully by then, this will be done. So we'll, uh, we'll get on this third pass and see what happens. Color me impressed. I mean, this is really just just way better than what I was able to accomplish with the box blade. And it's unbelievable, especially up top. Up top, it's just grabbing, leveling everything out from the lawn down to the dirt. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, this uh, pond levee used to come pretty much, I mean, not straight down, but at a steep enough angle that you couldn't lawn mow it and you had to weed whack it every time. And all that dirt is from digging out the shop edition. Had to do something with it. Figured this is the best option. I'm really impressed. Maybe I should tell Michelle I gotta get one. I don't know what she would say. Probably no. You could almost call it done right here, but I really want it to look really, really nice and flat. This is totally mobile, but I just want it to look really, really flat. So what I'm going to do probably tomorrow because I got to get going, meet my father-in-law to help him out. Um, probably tomorrow what I'll do is I'm going to do my diagonals going across and I think that'll pretty much button it up. So tomorrow we might throw some grass seed too. We'll see what happens. And if you're wondering what's going to be happening over here. So this shop incline that's over here, I'm just going to start dragging that all out with the back blade to eventually make it a little bit of a smoother transition. So it's not like a you know, level, down, level, and then down again. Just make it one smooth hill. So that'll be some serious box blade action. But we'll see you guys tomorrow when we do another pass at this thing. Well, it's, uh, it's day two. Like I said, I had to go help my father-in-law. And uh, this is what we're dealing with so far. I mean, it is way better than what it was. And it's nice and dry today so I actually just sent Michelle to go get some grass seed I'm gonna hit this a couple more times and uh, we're gonna plant some grass because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and what I'd like to do realistically is start getting this graded before it rains tomorrow so I'll end up throwing the box blade back on the tractor and start grading this out to an even uh, even slope so we'll get the uh, tractor out and get this I mean it's pretty close just needs a little bit of fine-tuning so we'll see how that goes All right, so that was the, I don't know, let's see, I did a cross, 
I did down. Last night I did one diagonal off camera, and that's the other diagonal. So that'd be that's four passes, and for what I got going on, that's plenty for me. Um, I've done the rest of the yard with just the box scraper, so this is going to be much better. And I should be able to mow it now, which is great. So when Michelle gets back with the grass seed, we're going to plant some grass. We're going to put the box scraper on and see if we can start tearing up some of this dirt. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. Oh, also, let me show you something cool. So if anybody knows what this rock is, comment below. It's really black and shiny. It was pretty cool. I found a bunch of them. You know, I, I ton of rocks here. But uh, I don't know if it's better to see it in the light or what. But all these here are all that same rock. It's kind of cool to know what it is. And also, speaking of rocks, look at this thing. So there's my ATV, and there's the rock. So I'm going to have to get this thing out of the way. My tractor was able to just lift it up. I don't know how well it's going to move it but it is humongous. So off camera, I'm gonna take the pulverizer off. I'm gonna put the box blade on, get the ATV moved, and then I'll start back up with you guys once it's time to move that big rock. All right, minor update for you. Uh, Michelle just called me. <sighs> Tractor Supply doesn't have any grass seed. And uh, I'm not buying name brand Scott grass seed for 50 bucks for a five pound bag. I just get the general grass seed from Tractor Supply. It's not the best, but it does the trick. So I'm gonna have to look around. Um, but right now I got the box blade on, got the ATV moved, it was where I'm standing, and it's time to uh, move this rock. <laughs> No damage to the grass. That's a major plus. All right, so now we're going to uh, get the grading going on this other part. much starting where the bucket is and dragging it up. I don't know what's going to happen around the trees. I might hit some roots, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that part over there is really starting to take shape. Yeah, I'm super happy about that. Ended up hitting some roots over by the trees, as to be expected. And also a massive rock over there, which I guess is also to be expected. All right, well, we got everything uh, just about graded out to where it needs to be. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna pull the tines up on the box plate so it doesn't dig into the ground and hook roots and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna be doing what I've been doing the entire time. Going across, back, forth, up, down, crisscross, everything like that. So, I don't know. You see me using the box blade a ton. Is it really worth recording? I don't think so. So, I'm going to get to it. Keep going back and forth. Probably take me about an hour or so. Got it all cleaned up with the box blade without the tines on it. And uh, this is about how close I had it before I started using the pulverizer last time. And like I said earlier, oh, hello. Oh, just us. Just us, huh? What do you got there, little baby Warren? Yeah. Sure. We're just finishing our video. Um, this is about how close I had it before I started using the pulverizer on the last one. So this is, uh, this is what I'll start with when it dries it's yeah it's too wet now it'll just clump up and stuff so once it dries up in a couple days hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow once it dries up i'll be able to get the pulverizer on it but since that's going to be i don't know four or five days away i'm going to catch that uh off video going to be it for today's video if you have any questions about anything i did today or are interested in anything i did looking for pointers make sure you leave a comment below and uh again thanks for watching i'm elliot and i hope you have a great day